All right, all right, all right. You know how we do. We go big here on the channel. So I'm about to go to a nice restaurant right now. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm pretty bored. As you can see, it's pretty dark outside. I'm really bored right now, so I'm just gonna go to a nice restaurant, sit down, have a great meal, and maybe bring you guys along. Let's go. Thank you. Yep, forgot about that. <laughs> Thanks. Right, well, you, have a good morning. you too. <laughs> yeah, you know we stunt now here, baby. I'm back. I don't. I'm. I'm. I don't know why I did that. I'm. I'm just never gonna do that again. Because that, let's be real here. That was a little bit creepy. And <laughs> We're not gonna do that on this channel. So I'm back with another video, guys. This is a really exciting one because tomorrow on the, or I guess today while you guys are watching this, I don't even know what date it is. Let me check my phone real fast. It's gonna be the fifth when you guys are watching this in the morning because I'm not gonna upload this video on Super Bowl Sunday. I'm not gonna get any views. I'm gonna get maybe like 10 views and those are for the people who don't even watch Super Bowl Sunday and instead they watch my channel because they're MVPs unlike the rest of you. I'm just kidding, you guys are all MVPs, all right? So Daybreak has been working on a patch for the past few weeks that's been on test server. It's been going through some thorough, heavy testing, gun sounds, new mechanics, you name it. it they've been going through it heavily on the test and Finally today, they're actually going to be releasing it for the live servers. The servers are going to be going down at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And for whatever reason, well, I, I've never seen any other game out there do this before. A six hour downtime for a patch. Please name one other, okay, you might be able to name one game. Try to name a few other games that are down for this period of time. I, I, don't, I don't understand how it takes them so long. I know somebody who works at EA and he's told me that it shouldn't take that long for a patch to go through. I don't know what they're doing over there, but hey, we're getting a new patch today. So they've really been working hard on this update, tuning a bunch of new stuff that they've added into the game. If you haven't played tests over the past few weeks, then you obviously don't know what I'm talking about. But for the vast majority of you guys that I hope played the test servers, we obviously know this is one of the best updates that H1 is going to be coming out with. It's nothing like we've seen at all since this game started to die off months ago. But another big exciting piece of it all, which is why I'm really excited, is that streamers are probably going to come back to this update. We've already seen Summit 1G enjoy and really love the update, and he definitely wants to come back and play the game, stream it, etc. I think I heard that he was talking to Shroud to try and get to play the new update so i'm hoping that goes through as well i'm pretty sure linden fps and stormin enjoy the update as well so that's going to be really exciting to see all of these streamers come back to the game and enjoy it why is this a big deal media and video games go side to side they coincide with one of each other if one of them's not doing so hot then the other one's not going to do so hot either if you've seen the h1z1 player count like i have it's been really low it's been 12 to 18 000 the past couple of weeks been extremely low and it's kind of hard to get into games now with that low amount of players you're kind of cut off from a certain window every single day on whatever server you play on especially na i think solos you're cut down to like a four hour window it's it's honestly really sad because i want to play na but i have to play it within that four hour window and i'm not willing to do that so as i was saying it's going to be really good for the h1z1 community because all of these streamers are going to be coming back to the game streaming the game loving it all of their viewers hopefully all of their viewers we can only hope <laughs> most of their viewers will probably end up enjoying the game if they don't then they're just there to watch the streamer but if they do end up enjoying the game and want to play it themselves they're going to want to go and play it themselves so they're going to want to go download h1z1 which i'm sure most of them already have it anyways they're going to want to go and download it and then start playing the game and try to be as good as their favorite streamer so that's going to bring new players to the game as well as old players back into the game it's going to be really exciting so guys i have a wager right here the new update is coming out later today. It's going to be one of the biggest ones we've seen in a while. Also, streamers are going to be coming back to the game, streaming it, enjoying themselves. On top of that, the Royalty Showdown is in a week and a half from now. So that's going to be a huge event as well. And then not too far after that, Season 8 is going to be coming out as well as the new Z1 Remastered. You get what I'm getting at here? I'm making a wager right now. If this game peaks at 100,000 players... I'm going to shave my beard all the way off. I will shave my entire beard off in celebration if H1Z1 can get up to 100,000 peak concurrent players. Now, do I think H1Z1 is actually going to peak that high? Probably not. I'm just throwing it out there just to have a little bit more fun on what's going on with the game itself. If it doesn't end up hitting 100,000 peak players, I won't end up shaving it off. But if it does, I'm just going to shave it off in celebration because 
at that point, H1Z1 will be alive again, thriving. There's going to be players on the game. It's going to be a very great time. And what other way am I going to show my appreciation? So that's what I'm going to put up to the table just to add a little bit more fun to what's happening all around the community and all that kind of stuff. I've noticed there, there there's some H1 YouTubers. Come on. We, we know who they are. There's some H1 YouTubers. They're just, they're boring. They're boring. I'm not trying to be like that. So I'm going to add a little bit more to my content that you, th that you get from theirs. I'm not, I'm not going to say who it is. I, I've watched a few YouTubers who upload H1 and it, it's boring. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it's boring. They need to add a little bit more excitement into their content. I try to do that myself. If I'm not exciting, then let me know because I'll, I'll one up. I'll one you up. Does that even make any sense? No, it doesn't. I'm going to take the Mario little one up thing and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on my hand right here and then one up, throw it off the screen just like that. So I guess there's nothing really else to talk about in the video. I'm really excited about this new update coming out and everything that's going to be going down in the H1Z1 community soon. If you guys are excited just as much as I am, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it all. And also, do you think that shaving off my beard at 100,000 peak players will be a sufficient enough celebration in itself? Let me know down below what you think about all that. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more H1Z1 content coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, also, if you guys didn't know, I turned off my monitor for this video, so there's no glare in my glasses. Pretty smart, huh?